So I'm just in this Honda. Customer complaint is there is a noise coming from the vehicle. Uh, from initial uh, test drive and inspection, the noise seems to be increasing as you uh, go up in speed. So the faster you go, the louder the noise is getting. Suspect it's potentially a wheel bearing. Uh, sounds like it's resonating from the left-hand side, but we'll get this vehicle back to the workshop and we'll start to inspect it now. So after I confirmed the diagnosis for the wheel bear and I ordered the part and I set about removing the attaching components. First thing I remove is the brake cradle and caliper complete held in by two 17 millimeter uh, bolts. And then I use my hanger hanging off the coil spring and start to move it out of the way. Take that tension off the flexible uh, brake hose. The flexible brake hose is held in by a 12 mil uh, bolt that's onto a retaining bracket as well. So I set about remove that. When diagnosing wheel bearings, um, there is usually some free play in them as well, some side to side or top to bottom um, movement. In this case, there was absolutely none. It was just that noise that you heard in the earlier clip. Uh, in this section here, I'm removing the screws that's holding in the brake disc. Now this brake disc was so stuck on that I actually used some lubrication and I uh, let that set in while I go back and I remove other items first. Uh, these are two um, 22 mil, I believe, uh, nuts that I used to take off there. And then there is a 36 mil uh, hub nut that comes off as well. The drive shaft then gets moved out of position and I use my dead blow hammer to free out that brake disc and get it to move away that was badly stuck on so it did take a little bit and never use anything that will damage the brake disc when you're removing those that one there is a split pin that was holding in the castle nut um, on the ball joint so it slides across that that's a 17 mil i'm using to take off that nut and then next, this was uh, quite tricky and it usually is with a lot of them, but it's the wheel speed sensor. Uh, it took me quite a while to actually get this free out. You need to be very careful when removing wheel speed sensors. They can break, they can jam. So take your time, rock it back and over and never pry in it too, um, too much in case you break it. And then you have extra costings in repairs. I then pop out those two bolts that are holding in the hub to shocks and the last thing I need to do is just remove the uh, ball joint at the bottom and this item comes straight out. What you're seeing here is me hitting out the actual hub. Um, this is a part of a, a bearing kit and um, what I'm using here to hit that out. Uh, keep tapping it out until I get the hub section out. As you can see, there is part of the bearing that stays on the hub that is quite common. So I get my hammer and chisel and I um, I have created a groove in that so I can pop off that. And once I have that off, I am basically at a stage where I can just focus on removing the rest of the bearing. In this case, we need to take that shield off, that um, shield that sits onto the hub, it's held on with three screws. That needs to come out as well. I use my Nipex uh, pliers to remove the snap rings. And once I have that snap ring out, I can then bring the whole hub up to the bearing press and start to uh, remove it out of it. Now, I am just gonna be showing the removal process on this video. I'm not gonna be getting deeply involved in the uh, reinstall. What I'm showcasing here is the actual um, magnetic part of the uh, wheel bearing. When you're doing these wheel bearings, they have a magnetic encoder on one side, so you always have to know which way you're installing them. That is what the wheel speed sensor picks up the signal from. I like to um, uh, get the bearing to move before I set it up completely. So what you see there is the two plates below completely flat. So the um, hub is at its strongest position. I get the bearing to press down a little bit because uh, you're not going to be able to put it up, push it out in that position. But once I have it moved, I know it'll be easier to move the rest of the way. So now in this clip, you can see that I have the plates moved um, out much further on the left and right. And that means you can push the bearing completely out. 
So once you have that wheelbarrow removed, you just follow the steps in reverse order and get everything back together again. Once you have that done, you're now ready for the road test. And as you could hear in that last clip, the wheelbarrow noise is gone. It has been found and fixed and the vehicle is ready to go back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.